I give you faith. I give you spiritual You feel so good after they've been there, you know, they made you feel like... Secondly, you've got to lower the inflammation in your body whenever you can, because we know that it also inflames the inside of your arteries. We had a, a rummage sale twice a year, one in the spring and one in the fall. It was a huge, big undertaking. I said, no, oh, no. <laughs> I don't allow anybody in my house but the novel visiting nurse there. Ensuring that care remains a key word in home health care has been our mission for over 80 years. In 1918, an influenza epidemic strikes the world, and by 1920, nearly 22 million people are dead. Women won the right to vote, and the League of Nations was formed, and in Norwell, in response to health concerns of the time, some prominent Norwell community members formed the VNA. Amy Sylvester, one of the founders, sold pies at the Marshfield Fair to fund the start of the organization. Based on the belief that need is opportunity, the board envisioned a vital community benefit organization to promote health and to provide care for the sick. In 1928, they started one of the state's first school-based dental programs with the purchase of a dental engine and paid the dentist to examine school children's teeth. For the first 50 years, Miss Catherine Rowe was the only Norwell visiting nurse. She was the school nurse, social worker, public health official, and health teacher. She helped to deliver babies and assisted surgery at home. A class would line up at the, at the door and you'd walk in and see her. That's, what, that's the way I remember. And then they would give you a little check in, in your eyes too, I think. And during the next two decades, the stock market crashes, depression sets in, and World War II rages on. And back in Norwell, Miss Rowe continues to visit her patients at home in the car that the VNA purchased for $437. And like other towns of Situate and Hanover, Norwell began the monthly Well Child Clinics. In 1946, Norwell had the only dental clinic in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts free for all school children with the VNA paying for these services. In 1949, the VNA arranged for free chest x-rays during the 50s. The Boston Braves moved to Milwaukee, Disneyland opens, and physical therapy services were added to the Norwell VNA services. Payment for Norwell VNA services at home and in the community was through private donations and an annual family membership drive. For a $5 contribution, a Norwell family was entitled to receive home nursing and therapy, school physicals, and twice a year health screenings. Rummage sales and the annual appeal paid the nurses salary, automobile, all health clinics and immunization drives. We witnessed many social changes in the 70s. Peace protests, the impeachment of President Nixon, and the expansion of Medicare coverage for the aged and disabled at home. The Norwell VNA recorded 891 nursing visits in 1970. During the 70s, Miss Rowe retired after 50 years of service, leaving a legacy of caring for Norwell and a growing organization. More nurses and home health aides were hired to continue her work. In the 80s, we saw the first woman appointed to the Supreme Court, and space travel became commonplace, and insurers and physicians discovered that patients really do improve more rapidly at home. In 1986, the Norwell Visiting Nurse Association is certified to provide a full range of home care services, and the demand for health services continue to grow. Admissions for home care increased by 50% in two years. Flu clinics were provided free to Norwell residents. Due to the increased number of staff and the growing need for home care, the VNA moved from the town hall to the Cushing Center in Norwell and opened another office in Situate in 1994. In 1997, Tiger Woods won his first Masters and in August, President Clinton signed the Balanced Budget Act of 1997. In response to the Balanced Budget Act, over 3,000 VNAs and home care agencies were forced to close or become acquired by larger organizations. With the closure of several local VNAs, the Norwell VNA was asked to expand throughout the entire South Shore region. By the year 2000, over 52,000 home visits were made possible by 100 professional and support staff. And she is a hot ticket. And she checked him all over. And Mike's sister was up from Pennsylvania. She says, after she left, she says, 
She didn't just check him. She gave him a real good physical. I said, that's Donna. She says, I never saw a visiting nurse do anything like that. I said, well, we got a good one. Bridging caring and cost requires a balance, identifying parameters and agency management. Today's Norwell Visiting Nurse Association is expanding services, bringing care to where the people are. How about working on the bending? Bend that all the way back up. Our patients, your own family, friends and neighbors, rely on the intense caring for the human spirit that drives the VNA. On any given day, the Norwell VNA provides home and community-based services to more than 130 patients out of a 500 patient caseload, competently and with compassion. It is the particular attention to the unique needs of the patients, families and their community that distinguishes our services from all the rest. The involvement of the community um, in the VNA in terms of prevention and providing services that are meaningful in a community is what has kept this organization alive. I always smile about the babysitting course. Um, a few years ago we did the Norwell VNA babysitting course turns 30 and actually that is what happened. Um, we had people in that babysitting course, children in the babysitting course, whose parents had also graduated from the babysitting course. We are in the process right now of developing not only an internal program of uh, disaster planning, but also a community-wide program as well. Our role has remained timelessly consistent with the community needs, and that is why the thousands of patients we have served over the years affectionately refer to us as our VNA. Look at how you get up every day. What's your attitude? You know, what your attitude will shape your day, just like the weather. And, and getting out of bed each day, not just jumping up and getting out, but realizing, wow, I have another shot at it. You can't buy a cup-sized drink anymore. 800 calorie-sized cups of soda, which is leaching calcium out of their bones. Our gratitude to our donors really can't be measured, and I think that since the very beginning of the organization, community support and benevolence is really clear in what saw the services through the past 80-something years. The people on the board today are really business people, you know, they need to be, they need to be really. Uh, board members are very talented uh, community members who really have their finger on the pulse of what's going on in their community. and they. They keep us focused on what the community needs really are. Uh, most of the board members bring with them their own personal and professional expertise in terms of abilities that we would, would need for a successful nonprofit in today's world. Our uniqueness has been our ability to respond to fiscal challenges and technological developments efficiently. Okay, well this technology is just a great thing for the VNA because it means that we have information at our fingertips and it connects the nurses in the field right to our offices and hopefully to other community health settings. It's just a great advancement for us. The Friends really are an outcropping of our original board. They incorporated in 1994 oh, by highlighting the services of the organization within the community. Their mission became to fundraise for the benefit of the Noble Visiting Nurse Association. Over 5,000 volunteer hours are contributed annually to the Norwell VNA endeavors. At the Norwell VNA, we know that demand for home care has increased tremendously and will continue as America ages. And as the economic difficulties persist, the cutbacks are likely to exact an ever greater toll on the sick. Local, efficient health care delivery by caring professionals makes sound fiscal sense. Bridging the past with the present while planning for the future highlights the importance of the VNA's continuum of services that addresses both the public health and home care needs of a community. Right now we're talking about SARS, the very thing that triggered perhaps the events that put VNAs on the roadmap to begin with, maybe something we're dealing with in a different form, but in a similar way, right now. Your assistance is an investment in the health of your family, your friends, your children, and theirs. Your gift 
however large or small, will help provide critical care at home for those lacking in means. It will fund innovative ways for the VNA to perfect home care and ensure that the Norwell VNA is always available when you, your loved ones, and friends need our care. People used to stay in the hospital long enough to be well when they came home, and they don't do that anymore. The visiting nurses really have to do a whole lot more than they ever did.